Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks, that play a big series we have to do for the lot. I'll go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I hope this is good because it's part of my lunch. But anyway, we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer out about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my back room, which means i got a Peter Can Thunderbolt poster behind me. i got a mask up there. I, there's some CDs over there. They're being held in place by a, uh, a uh, bottle of mouthwash because sometimes you have to improvise, folks. But uh, what else am I doing besides that, folks? I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, why I wear super cool shirts? I always like to highlight a super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my The Browning shirt. Which I love this fucking shirt, man. It's super cool. It's like crazy and it's got like sort of a tech priest looking guy on him. I don't know if he's actually a tech priest from Warhammer, but he looks like a tech priest. And to be fair, when I went over there, uh, when I went to the merch table to get this shirt... I specifically called it the Tech Priest shirt, and the guy immediately knew what I was going for, so I'm going to say it's Tech Priest. But what the fuck is the Browning? Uh, they are a band slash solo project, kind of depends on, it's mostly a solo project. Uh, but it's been going since like 20, or like, why do I keep feeling, since around like two, to, uh, 2005, and, you know, been sort of just doing their thing sort of avant-garde industrial metal is kind of where I would put it. I really like it. Uh, I became, ugh. I became aware of it several years, well, more than several years, quite a few years back, probably about a decade or so ago now, and I was finally fortunate enough, I got to see them perform live last night. They were on tour with a band called Born of Osiris, and fucking they killed it, man. So much so, not only did I get merch, but I also took some videos from that show of the Browning, Born of Osiris, uh, Surge, and what was the other one? Waste, Careless Sanctions, and Rings of Saturn. Six bands. Six. They're all really good. Check them out if you're interested. But anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? What am I, you know, it's part of my lunch, apparently, so. Hopefully it's good, because, folks, we're doing, can we, what's the, boom, it's this! What with the sun? Why? Why, son? Why? It is Tapatio Instant Ramen, specifically of the beef flavor variety. Uh, I've reviewed quite a few... Oh, for fuck's sake, with the goddamn sun. Yeah, fuck you, son. I hate the sun so much. Such a... Like, perfect lighting. Perfect lighting. Then the sun's like, eh, what if I fucked it up? Just because. <laughs> Crazy like that. I hate this up. Anyway, I've done a whole bunch of, like, instant noodle reviews, and I've actually reviewed some stuff from Tapatio. If you're not familiar with Tapatio, they are, more classically, they are a hot sauce brand. I reviewed their original flavor. I reviewed their extra spicy flavor. Both of which I found to be a little bit here or there, but go check out those reviews if you want my full input on them. Uh, but I did also try their birria flavor, and that one I really liked. I, in fact, still get that one to this day. So when I saw that they now have a beef flavor, seemed pretty nifty to me. So we're going to try it out. I don't know how it's going to go yet, obviously. You know, we're going to try it out together. And, I mean, it's super simple. Take the packets, pour the packets in the thing, pour the water up to the fill line, pop it in for about five minutes. There you go. Bob's your uncle. So let's see, can we get a can we get a, a decent picture for the thumbnail, I wonder? I'm betting we can. Ha 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 Sure, something like that. Anyway, let's try it out. And by the way, this is gonna end up on my ramen reviews playlist, because I just I've done enough of these that I actually have an entire playlist of just instant ramen stuff. Tells you all you need to know about my life. Yeah. Not 
Amen. Amen. Hmm. Interesting. It's actually got a little bit more kick to it than I was expecting. Like, you'd think that, like, with, with it being, like, a, you know, a hot sauce brand, that, like, they would really kind of emphasize the spice. But on the original flavor one, wasn't that spicy. And even the extra spicy one was, I found it to be a little bit lacking in the spice department. So it's kind of surprising that it seems a little bit more evident in this one. Maybe they've learned. Maybe they watched my reviews and were like, hey, we got to get, we can't even convince this fat guy. We're in a browning shirt. <laughs> Learn to have fun with yourself, folks. As soon as you do, not much can hurt you. But yeah, I'm pretty much down with that. Uh, noodle consistency is good. The five minutes is a good timeline. Only thing is, that works for room temperature water. Most of my water is in bottled format, so it's always in my fridge. So I gave it 5 minutes and 20 seconds just to help it out a little bit. And of course, I spill stuff on myself, because why wouldn't I do that? But no, the noodle consistency is good. It's all cooked through nicely. I mean, it's, you know, standard instant noodle noodles. But I, I will say I've had worse instant noodle noodles for sure. The main thing, I mean, realistically, the main thing you're going for here is the broth. What is the broth adding to it? It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Not anything super spicy, but like it's it's at least noticeable. It kind of goes to the back of your throat a little bit. And I don't know if I would say that it tastes particularly like beef per se, but there is like a savory aspect to the broth. Um, it has more depth than like just the straight original flavor did or the extra spicy. Now the thing is, it doesn't have the same level of depth as the birria flavor. The birria flavor, that one... You get a lot, a lot of flavor in that one. But I am going to try some of the broth just kind of by itself. And yeah, it's nice. You can tell, ooh. Yeah, when you do it just by itself, you can actually taste the hot sauce aspect more prominently. It has a little bit more of a burn, and you can taste kind of like that chili uh, flavor. Yeah, I mean, honestly... The broth is good. The the noodles are good. You know, again, I don't think it's up there with the birria flavor, but I think if I were sort of comparing it against somewhat similar items, like your maruchans, your top ramens, those beef flavors, this definitely way, way better. Way, way better. It's just, it has more depth. It's got the nice kick to it. Um, you know, it just, it feels, it tastes and it feels more, rewarding to eat you know uh and, and i think that's kind of the thing for like the tapatio stuff they're not trying they're trying to be a little bit more upscale in that little bit more of an upscale ramen category you know so if you're already accustomed to you know your tag and your Mar Chan's top ramens this you're getting more of a meal out of and it's again it's just it's a more overall rewarding eating experience just it's it's just better and i think i like it I think out of the the four that I've tried, again, your normal, your extra spicy, your birria, and then now this, I would put this underneath the birria, but above the other two. I think that the extra spicy one was, you know, decent, but it didn't have the same level of depth. And this, I think it actually, you know, I mean, granted, it's still instant fucking noodles, but I do think that there's something there to it. And I think that it's, you know, it's pretty commendable. Overall, it's definitely something tasty. But, two questions have to be asked, folks. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with sure and yes. Here's why. For me, personally, if I'm going to get the Tapatio and some ramen, birria all the way. Until they come out with something that beats the birria, it's going to be the birria for me. Um, especially because a lot of times, if you go to certain Walmarts, you can get them for like a buck a, a, buck a bowl. Usually, they're like a little over two bucks, but like... Again, some places you can get them for, you know, just that much cheaper. Who's my buddy? Who's my buddy, Bernard? How are you doing, Bernard? Oh, you're a big chubby hamster. Do you like treats? Treats for Bernard? Is Bernard a good boy? Yeah, Bernard likes treats. That's my hamster, Bernard. He's been in some of my videos before. 
I'm not gonna put him in this one though, but he got a treat because he's silly and chubby. Uh, but anyway, yeah, for me personally, the beer is definitely still the top. I could see maybe adding this one in every now and again, but it would definitely be like maybe one out of every four, something like that. If I'm going over there and I'm recommending it to people, and this is always the interesting part when I do the ramen reviews, because it's like I'm kind of working with two different people. People like me and people who aren't like me. If you're somebody like me who, you know, yeah, you, you kind of chow down on these things with probably more regularity than you should because you're just not much on cooking and stuff and, you know, you just want something quick and easy to make after work, yes, I would definitely recommend it. Again, especially if you're more of the Maru-chan of the top ramen, you know, this is going to cost you a little bit more to be fair, but it's also more filling and, again, it, just, it tastes more rewarding. Um... Again, I would still go for the birria personally, but that's just me. But it's a good, you know, beef instant ramen for what it is. Now, if you're not like me and you're somebody who, you know, actually is a good adult and cooks and does proper things for themselves, I, mind you, I can cook a little bit, okay? I'm not, you know, I just don't do it a lot. If you're more the person who's like, look, I just need something for lunch, the top ramen and the marachan stuff like that probably going to work better for you overall if you just need that quick hit. This, it is a little bit, I wouldn't say involved, but like, you know, you get a larger amount of it and stuff. Might weigh you down a little bit. But like, it's, you know, a good emergency thing to have on hand. If you just, like me, you just want to be lazy one day. I think it works nicely. And it's also pretty familiar. A lot of the more upscale ones that I like are like the really spicy ones and stuff. This one, a little bit of a kick. I think most people could live with it. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spend the rest of your folks who want to go over there and have yourselves a truly hot sauce test to crush your life. Caliente, picante, it even says picante on the thing. Final two things, number one, try to bring some positivity to the world, it's not always possible, it is however always appreciate it, but what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time, here's what you're going to do folks, you're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, trust me, I know it, I live it, I'm out there with you in it. Fact of the matter is, folks... Sometimes days are just going to be sucky and bullshit, and when those things happen, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our, assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, here's what I want you to do. Go over there, this is an instance of do as I say, not as I do. Go over there, and if you are somebody like me, who again, you enjoy yourself some, some instant ramen, challenge yourself at least, you know, a couple days a week or something to go, you know, make sure you cook something. Do something like that. Because, I mean, as much as, like, and I'm not trying to shame anybody or anything like that, but it is one of those things where it's like, especially as I get older, it's like, look, I still like this stuff and everything, but even I admit, it's like, yeah, I should probably, you know cook around the house a little bit here and there and, you know, vary up my, uh, my diet. Granted, I mean, yeah, I eat a lot of interesting stuff because of the show, but anyway, just take care of yourself. That's the main thing. All right.